Hello again, it's Liam from VTAMethod.com. You can go check out the products at VTAMethod.com or go check out our blog at virtualteachingassistant.com slash blog. Links are in the sidebar. So, today what I want to talk to you about is the four stages of any paper and the most important stage, which is the critical thinking stage. More or less, there are four stages to any paper. There's the research stage, brainstorming stage, writing stage, and editing stage. The second stage, the brainstorming stage, is more or less critical thinking. Very simply, it's the ability to reason about a problem or issue and mount a reasoned argument for your point of view and the conclusions you come to. It is the process by which you can think your way through papers prior to actually writing them. So there are nine major questions. First question, what is being asked of me? This is incredibly important. I've had many students come to me and not really understand what is being asked of them when they want to write a paper. Read over your question and really problematize exactly what the professor is asking you to do. Second, what is the problem? This is the second major thing that most students don't figure out. Many students might read the, correction, the question properly but they don't actually understand the problem that is being presented by the question, and they are two completely separate things. How can I simplify this problem? Well, very simply, that takes a look at the very complex problem that you've created, and then you say to yourself, how can I break this down to the absolute simplest format so that anyone can understand it? And I mean anyone. What information do I need to solve this problem? This is really big. The information that you need to solve this problem can be one article or it can be a hundred articles, as long as it's the central points to apply to your particular problem. Okay? Um, I've had a lot of students that have come in to me, come in and, you know, have three articles, and then I've had students that have come in and had 50 articles. And if they don't actually make it specific to the actual problem that's being presented, it's, it's a waste of your time. You could read an entire library for, worth of information, but unless you're simply applying the information to the particular problem, it's not going to help you. How do the authors come to their conclusions? This is big. You're going to take all the pieces of information that you have, and you're going to figure out how those authors came to their particular conclusions, which links to the next question. Based on the author's evidence, do you believe their conclusions? This is really important because if you don't believe their conclusions, then there's obvious problems within their arguments. This also links to the next question. So, if you don't believe their conclusions, usually you can find any hidden bias or assumptions in the author's argument. This is really big because when you're breaking down the author's conclusions, you want to be able to present the obvious biases and assumptions within each piece of evidence, which the professors and teaching assistants love. What are the implications if the author's conclusions are correct or incorrect? This is really important because this is going to provide you tons of information to present on your paper that teaching assistants and professors are going to love, and it's going to be able to present great, uh, a great argument you know, at the end of your paper towards your conclusion. Last question, are there alternate ways to come to the same conclusion? This is simply the gravy question. If you can present a really good alternate way of coming to the same conclusion at the end of your paper, after all these smart guys have presented, smart guys and girls have presented their pieces of information, and you've completely disbanded each of them, you're going to get an A-plus guaranteed. So, for the full article, go check out www.virtualteachingassistant.com and just sign up for our newsletter, and what I'm going to do is send you the full chapter on critical thinking absolutely free. Okay, this is the crown jewel of the VTA method, and I want you to try it out before, you know, you do any other work with us. Secondly, you can go and check out my blog, 
www.virtualteachingassistant.com slash blog and you'll find tons of resources to really get yourself from you know B's and C's to A's within a single semester. Thanks a lot.